My name is Elizabeth Thomas, and my project covers the motivations and influences future U.S. Army second lieutenants have and have faced when choosing to join the military profession. The purpose of this research is to learn more about the motivations the future leaders in the U.S. Army have for joining the military. This will include discussions of scholarships and monetary compensation, familial ties to the military, personal feelings about the military, experiences in ROTC, and as an enlisted soldier, if that's applicable, and overall connotations about the military and ROTC, the intended length of their service, as well as the cadet's college experience. The results of this study will help to shed some light on the reasons current cadets have for joining ROTC and the military profession. The question I'm looking to answer through my research is, why did the students in the Wofford ROTC program choose to join the U.S. Army and what influences or reasons did they have for choosing to commission through ROTC? I want to be able to learn more about the cadets attitudes towards the military as well as the attitudes of those around them and if those feelings influence their decision to join. One of my sources talks about if cadets attitudes are more from socialization within ROTC or they're from self-selection to the program. This study found that cadets' attitudes about the military were attributed to self-selection for the program, and that the ROTC program did not alter the students' attitudes about the military. I do not find this surprising at all, because ROTC is a strictly volunteer program. I will conduct interviews and surveys with the cadets, as well as do participant observation during training events. I will also conduct some textual research about ROTC programs and young soldiers as well as general views about the U.S. Army. Initially, I had a pre preconceived notion that most students in ROTC would have family in the military. However, from those sampled in my survey, only 53% stated that they have someone in their immediate family who has served or is serving in the military. Unsurprisingly, 75% of the 53% of the respondents said that their immediate family members who served or are serving in the Army. However, this is only 39% of the survey sample. Plans going forward, I will continue to conduct interviews as well as participant observation at training events such as physical training and leadership labs. I will also continue to look for more outside research on similar and related topics to expand and build upon my research. I will now include some excerpts from one of my interviews to give you a better sense of the project. My whole reasoning actually for enlisting wasn't necessarily the money, because I didn't know it would help me out with school. But I just wanted to see what the Army was like, because I always knew I wanted to do the Army, but if I was smart enough, I wanted to go in as an officer versus enlisted. So I just wanted to get a thing of the culture. Active duty because I do not have to look for a job. Yes. <laughs> my, my, my family was pretty supportive. I mean, my, my mom, she wasn't too excited when I told her, oh yeah, I'll be going infantry. She wasn't too excited about that, but I mean, she's lightened up to the idea. If you are interested in asking questions or learning more about my research, I invite you all to attend the roundtable discussion that will be held on April 9th at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thank you.